when you shoot with film, there's a certain way to do it. Whereas now it's like, okay, we, it's digital. We can hit the record button and we can shoot a rehearsal. And if it, if it's sucks, then, you know, we'll just do it again. But if it's awesome, we got it. Whereas film, you know, you had to follow certain guidelines. Uh, we would, you know, get the actors in, let's rehearse it. Let's lay down the marks. Let's make sure that, you know, everything's laid out before we actually hit that button and the film starts rolling. Cause when the film started rolling back then, that was just money. Every, yeah. like, just, that's money going. So there was an, there was a certain uh, way to do things with films as they kind of, you know, some shows still follow it. Some people still do it that way, but it, there's, it's, it's kind of a lost thing now. Like, you know, how, how it was, how film sets were kind of run. Yeah. Um, and I miss that a bit because I felt like it was a little more efficient. Um, hmm. But you know, you have to change with the times and how everybody does things now. And, and that's just the way it goes. Yeah. You know? do, um, do you have any opinion? Cause I know that like film and digital, again, there's a, a another, you know, disagreement that you often hear about and people bicker back and forth with you've worked behind the camera with film and digital, you know, do you have any strong feelings about how one looks versus the other, or is it more that having that, those protocols, taking your time, being, you know, being more intentional with the camera. Yeah. I, it's funny. Cause like when digital started really coming in, I was more of like, Oh, this is terrible. You know, it was <laughs> a bummer. And uh, you know, it, there, there was a, uh, I, I was always like, Oh, films looks better. Film so much better, you know, like, and I still think film looks awesome, you know, don't yeah. get me wrong, but I, you know, directing wise, when you shoot film, you know, you roll the film, you do the scene, you know, Hey, was that, in, was that in focus? Yeah, I think so. Okay. You know, you ask an AC or whatever, if the, and you don't know until you get the dailies back. And by the time you get your dailies back after, after the film's in process, you're, you know, you're already on a day or two ahead. Yeah. And if something's, if something came back out of focus, it's like, Oh God, you know, man, that's a bummer. Or like, we're gonna have to reshoot that thing. You know, if you have time to do that digital now, what I love about that is that you can record, you know, what you're doing, you can hit playback and have a playback guy, like, you know, show you your shot and you can check to make sure that everything's in focus, everything worked, if there was some crap in the shot or whatever that you didn't see it before. And uh, yeah, it's, that's the, what I think is a great advantage of digital is being able to actually look at what you just recorded and knowing you've got it. And I think that digital over time now has gotten so good with color timing and, and the colorists and the grain that you can add to the digital thing. Yeah. Things look so much better now that there's now, you know, the movies can look like film, you know, right. and it's, 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 uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell if was it shot on film or shot on digital and you never, you know, I think that's cool now. I, where I was a, like a total film snob because I was part of that. Now I'm like, ah, digital's cool, you know, right. and I really see film you know, anymore. I just, I went and day played on Spielberg's movie that he's doing right now. And I had a double take when I walked on set because I, I saw that, you know, all the camera cards, I was like, Oh, Oh, we're shooting film, you know, yeah. which I realized he shoots everything on film, but still was like, Oh, wow. I haven't, you know, Oh, I got to put my eye in the eyepiece now because I'm so used to now just using a monitor where it's right. filming, to like put your eye in the eyepiece, right. you know, and I kind of quit doing that for all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, ar arguably when digital did start coming it did look really crappy <laughs> compared to film yeah. like when you watch movies from from that transition period there was some sketchy stuff happening <laughs> with the look of some some movies and and now it really is like i i listen i, I mentioned obviously tarantino's opinions on it like i i listened to his uh comments on roger deakins with with uh digital cinematography and I was just like, man, I just don't know if you can tell that clearly, you know, like, I don't know how you watch Skyfall and walk away going like, man, if that was shot on film, it would look a lot better. It's gotten really good. And, yeah. and honestly, the thing that I think is really cool. And like you were talking about, like nowadays, the accessibility of being able to get cameras and stuff is that, hey, look, when I got into it and film was so expensive, it was almost unobtainable for me to like really be able to do something, mm -hmm. you know, on my own, I would have to get the film camera and the, you know, all the stuff and, you know, the crew and everything where now people can just go out and buy a digital camera and they can make their own films. I mean, they, I couldn't do that when I got into it. Yeah. I'm a little jealous of this generation coming <laughs> up, honestly, now I'm getting older, I, but still it's like, uh, you know, the fact that you can now make your own movies and people are doing it, it's really impressive. You know, people at home, you know, you people in small places where it's not like, oh, I have to move to Hollywood now to go make movies or learn. I got to move to New York to get into the film business. No, man, people, 
you do your own research, you know, you buy a camera, you go out and shoot, you, you know, learn editing on your computer, you know, now with like Final Cut or right. you know, Adobe Premiere, whatever. Um, you can just do it at home. And yeah. it's kind of awesome. You know, you get your buddies together and go. I couldn't do that back in my day. We were running around with VCR cameras <laughs> with the, the deck and the backpack, you know. I'm sure. So. <laughs> well, so. it's, yeah, it, it's really cool how accessible, you know, like, and, and what opportunity there is. I think, you know, obviously there's issues that come with both, right? There's, there's all the gatekeepers that you have. If you're, if you're working, especially if you're pre 1970s, 1980s, if you're in the early day, I mean, you have one very specific gatekeeper, you have a producer at a studio that has to give you the right to do something, you know, as you move forward, it becomes less and less. It's the gatekeeping is the money. And now like yeah. really the, the biggest gatekeeper is your own willingness to go out and pick up a camera and shoot. <laughs> like that's pretty much it. If, if you, if you have an iPhone, you can start shooting short films, which is just yeah. absolutely insane. Um, yeah, you can shoot right on your phone, you can edit it right on your phone. Right. Right. Great. Yeah. You know? And, you know, and really now the only negative is there's such a saturation of movies, even, even mainstream, you know, where, you know, things get lost. There's really talented people that, that disappear, but I think, overall it's probably a positive that there's a chance <laughs> there's a chance for everybody to kind of kind of move forward thanks for listening to the film school podcast if you appreciated the content on the show don't forget to leave a five-star review and hit subscribe so you won't miss a single episode